How do you keep that? Teddy Atlas calls your eyes the radar. So how do you keep the radar on when you slipping? You getting so low, slipping from shots. All from experience, from learning is everything's a rhythm. Everybody has a rhythm. Once you adapt to it, you can do it all. You already know if he throws a jab, he might throw a right hand. Most likely, about nine out of ten times, he's gonna throw a right hand. If he throws a right hand, you already know. Dip. He comes to the left hook. You throw. The same. It's just rhythm. Everything is all patterns, and that's what it is. Um, I've been doing this. It's about to be 17 years now doing this, and that just comes with experience. Tyson Fury has been in this game for a long time, you know, so he knows what he has to do. He has all the experience in the world for it, and I'm excited, man. I hope. I hopefully. They waited too long for the Deontay, um, Deontay Wilder fight against Anthony Joshua. And they not do this again with Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. What happens in the rematch? Tyson Fury all day. And I'll bet my house on it. Really? Why is I don't that? got a house yet, and I'll bet it. <laughs> why, why are you so confident? Bet the condo in Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got the, yeah, there you go. Um, why am I so confident? It's because Deontay Wilder is a strong fighter. But we all seen the flaws that he brings, that he brought to Deontay Wilder. I mean, Deontay Wilder is a, yo, he has a beautiful one-two. Strongest one-two in the game, literally. Strongest one-two, strongest right hand in the game. But Tyson Fury showed that if he can't hit you, this guy ain't really, and I think he learned from all that. That was his first time back with a world champion. He can, and he made it a draw. Give him a watch. Give him some, a couple more fights. Let him get back into it. How, and I guarantee he'll be more focused on it. How better do you expect him to be in that rematch? A lot better. Um, much better. Because why? He came back from dropping 200 and something pounds. Mm -hmm. So you got to think about that. He fought some. He fought a fighter that was nowhere near Deontay Wilder style. Mm -hmm. And then fought Deontay Wilder. Made it a draw. And then coming back here and fighting this guy. Taking him out. And now he's fighting another fighter. So little by little, he's getting that rhythm again. He's getting that that feel. If you're out of the game for two years, you gotta give this man props. Yeah. Fighting, going in against a world champion like Deontay Wilder, who, hit, who knocks everybody out and goes and makes it a draw. And I think, I honestly thought he won the first fight. A anything Wilder can do differently though? I mean, he put a little muscle on. Wilder has to commit more. Wilder can't think so much and Wilder has to not be so stiff when he's throwing his punches. But that's how Wilder is when he throws his one twos and everything. But he needs to be more relaxed and not throw the same loops over and over and over again. Because he may not get it the first time, but sooner or later, Tyson Fury was getting it over and over afterwards. He knew what he was throwing. Here comes the over. Here comes the left hook. He was doing that. And that was what Tyson Fury was doing in the first fight. So in order to perfect that, he has to change it up a little bit in his style and how he throws the same shots over and over again. With Tyson Fury, you can't do that. Tyson Fury keeps his reach, everything. You gotta go for the body. You gotta start. You gotta, the only way you get to distance is touching the body first. Work your way up. They're both tall. So there's no, oh, who's short? No, no, no. They're both tall. Mm -hmm. They both have that, you know? So you could go for the body. You know, it's a little harder when you're tall and you're fighting a shorter guy. You know, because when you're going, you might get hit, but that's the only thing. So he doesn't have no excuse, man. That's the thing that he could change. Touch the body, use your jab a little bit more, because he has a strong, fast jab. So should, should Wilder use that same right hand, he throws it ahead and drop it to the, the body, or to he's got to throw a hook? No, 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 to the body. Straight to the body. Come up top if you want to. Instead of throwing straight loops on top of the head, go to the body. He's moving, but that body's still there. Right. And you can touch it. And that's everybody's flaw. Everybody goes in head nuts. What I did in my last fight, went straight to the body. Guy was a little taller. Guy had his defense high and tight, but his body was open. And we broke it down. And that was it, you know? So, that's what, it's those key points right there that could change everything, game changer. That is gonna be a great fight and everybody, when it happens, because it is going to happen in 2020, everybody should definitely get, they'll get their money's worth, for sure. Everyone sees Fury as the better boxer, but in terms of speed, athleticism, are they even? Um, or you see Fury as faster too, not, not just better skilled. Fury has a lot of skills, he's very technical with his things. Deontay Wilder is very strong, and that's what you need. He's very powerful and he's very, uh, he's quick. He's quick, you know? And very unorthodox. So those are things and that makes a great fight, man. It's like, it's a balance right there. Because you got, hey, whoever's, whoever's the, whoever has the right mindset that day is gonna win, you know? And then um, I think it also kind of showed to, um, Deontay Wilder that, hey, not everybody's gonna drop from these, these shots. He came back. Everybody was like, oh, it's over. It's over. He came back. Um, a lot of controversy on that because they said that it was already 10 count, like it was a 10 count. Mm. 
you know, and it should have been over. But those are things that people are going to say and they're going to talk about. But, but the ref always takes a second to, to send other fighters to the corner, well, right? Well, if you don't go straight to the corner, right there to your neutral corner, then you're actually giving that guy more time. And that's one thing um, I think a couple years ago, uh, or two years ago, or a year ago, I don't remember, but when I got it um, from the NABF Rising Star Award, um, the next day they had the, uh, the referee um, meeting, and I met all the famous referees and everyone that I looked up to that did mega fights, and it was amazing that I get I had the opportunity to be one of the boxers to represent all the fighters and what we like and what we don't like, and they taught me many things, and I got to have a relationship, not a relationship in that way, but get to have that connection of knowing all of them and seeing what they have and what they find as a mistake that we see that is not, you know, mm -hmm. and, and things like that. Because us, some people, when they wave it off too early, everybody's like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, so those are things I told them, and it was just great overall. I had that exposure, and I had that, I had that, um, uh, that learning thing, that learning process that I had with them. Like I literally learned a lot, and I told them what we don't like because I know damn well I wouldn't like it if I'm hitting if if a dude is trying to hit me so much and I'm blocking everything, they stop it. I would mm -hmm. definitely hate that. Mm -hmm. You know, if he's not hurt or anything, there you go. And, and thank you so much for letting us in on your your great boxing IQ. If you this one, last one's for fun, me and this guy were talking about boxing movies. What's your favorite boxing movie of all time? Uh, my favorite, bo of course, Rocky. We're all gonna say it, you know, Rocky. Rocky one. Um, all of them. You know, uh, Rocky five and six. Eh, Rocky four was nice. Rocky three. Oh, you check out Raging Bull. Rocky four. Rocky four was nice. Rocky five. That was the one I was talking about, huh? You check out Raging Bull. Raging Bull. I haven't seen. I've seen South uh, South Paul. I love South Paul. That's a good ass movie. Creed, uh, first one was good. Creed two, eh. mm -hmm. you know, and um, it's great, man, that they're still doing it. But they need to make a fight night. They need to make a fight night video game again, and have us all, man, on there. Ninety nine overall. Hell uh, yeah, <laughs> that's definitely. Look, man, we're taking over the sport, man. We're gonna take over the. We're taking over that platform, man. They just gotta bring it. They gotta bring it back. EA Sports, man, bring it back. Or 2K, whichever one gonna or do 2K. it. 2K. Roly, we need you in uh, Fight Night too. The new, the new one. Tia Fimo says needs to happen. Fight Night, but his thing, his overall rating is gonna be where his damage is, is low blow. <laughs> Damn, fast hands. Though. Nah, I hit the low blows.